Hello everyone, welcome to Beaver's Hobby Channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calibrate and program the Rift Art ESC. So, let's begin. You should calibrate the ESC when you use it for the first time or whenever you change the transmitter to make sure that it registers the correct midpoint, maximum and minimum throttle. But before that, go to the transmitter and check that you have zero trim and 100% jaw rate and EPA. Moving on to the ESC. This ESC is essentially a hobby wing ESC, so the procedure is the same uh, across all the EC run series. So if you know that already, it is going to be the same. However, this ESC doesn't come with a switch, so you're gonna have to plug and unplug it to turn it on and off. To calibrate it before you plug it in or before you turn it on, you have to hold the button and then plug it in. Once it starts beeping, you let go of the button. Now press once to register the neutral position. Next, hold the trigger to full forward and then click the button to register the full forward and then push the transmitter to full reverse and then click the button again. You're gonna hear three beeps and then two beeps and that means the calibration is complete and this is how it operates. Pull the trigger to go forward, push it immediately to brake and then come back to the center and push it again to reverse. But you can go immediately from reverse to forward. And with that, we have verified that the calibration is complete. Next, how to program the ESC. Turn it off first. In this case, you just need to unplug the battery because it doesn't have the on-off switch. You might think that uh, because it is a hobby wing, you can just plug it into a programming card. No, you cannot do that. Let me show you. Here's the hobby wing programming card. And then when we turn it on or plug it in, you're going to see that nothing shows up. Uh, this is because this ESC is essentially the same ESC as the uh, atomic ESC, which it needs another wire to be able to program. Uh, otherwise, you are going to have to program it through the button. And you can see the program on the back, uh, which is pretty helpful. However, it is uh, pretty tricky because you cannot see the light that coming on when you flip it to read. Uh, there is also a diagram on the website and I'll also uh, put it up on the screen right now. Alright, moving on. To program it, first you have to hold the button and then plug it in. Keep, keep holding it until the green light comes on. Uh, one beep is for the program one, two, three, four, and five are going to be short beeps. Right, and from six, it is going to be one long beep and one short beep. Just like that, that that's seven. That is number eight. Number nine. And ten is going to be two long beeps. That's 10. And that's 11. So, keep holding the button until it goes into the program that you want to set. So, with this, uh, I want to set the neutral range to narrow. Uh, it is going to be the number 4, so I'm going to have to wait for the 4 short beeps. Yeah, it is going to circle around. That's 10, 11, 
One, two, three, Once it reaches the program that you want, you have to let go of the button. And now it is going to be the red beep. Uh, again, the number of the beep indicates the program. Uh, the default neutral range is normal. So it is two beeps. Click it once, it will go into three beeps, which is wide. And then click it again, it is going to uh, circle back to one beep and it is the narrow throttle that I want so to save the program you have to turn it off or unplug it unfortunately this is unfortunately this is quite tedious because you can do only one program at a time yeah it is going to be much easier if you can use a programming card but as I said earlier you cannot do this because uh, it doesn't have the uh, the programming port. If it was on the original board, you're gonna see that the programming port is uh, right here, which uh, it is not on uh, the uh, art version. So they have made quite a uh, strange choices uh, in the process of making this ESC. But anyway, that's how you program the. Uh, the ESC. And here's the bonus clip before I go. Uh, I'm gonna show you that these two ESCs are actually the same. This one is from Atomic that I've been using for years. And this one is the Drift Art that uh, I showed you earlier. So, it is held on by two Phillips screw. Just like that, and now I can flip, I can pull the cover up. And this is the brief art. Here's the atomic. So I have to. Uh, pop the case off. Here it is. Here's the back. Let's zoom in a little bit. You can see that they are just, they are not just similar. They are exactly the same. But, uh, with the drift art design, it has a little bit smaller case, uh, because it doesn't have the switch. And also, it is, uh, it doesn't have the programming port. Right here. So, let's pop it out to show you what I mean. Okay, that's a little bit difficult to pull because the wires are quite tight on the case. There it is, and also the button fell out. Don't worry about that. Here it is. And here is the uh, Atomic ESC. There we go. Here you can see that uh, the Drift Art ESC on the left doesn't have the uh, programming port. So, theoretically, you can just solder three wires that uh, you can make a plug out of it or something that goes into the programming card and you'll be able to use it. And then for the switch, you can desolder this uh, terminal and then install your own switch. You can either Make it a long wire that goes somewhere on the car, or you can just uh, use a short, small switch like this. And uh, that's pretty much it. It is everything I want to show you about uh, this ESC. And there it is. I hope it is useful. Thanks for watching, and see you again next time.